You're watching HuffPost Live. I'm Nancy Red. Now imagine if you turned your favorite hobby into your full-time job. Ellie Greenberg did just that. She turned her songwriting hobby into a career by running children's music classes. Ellie is the founder and CEO and founder of ABC Do Re Mi. Hello, Ellie. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. I don't know how many times I can say you're the founder, but you're the <laughs> founder. Of I this am the founder. Yes. Program and it is founded from your hobby. Correct. Yes. I'm looking at the uh, website right here, abcdoremynyc.com. Mm -hmm. How did you get started? What was your hobby that this turned in? What did you used to do? So um, I actually come from corporate America background. I'm actually a lawyer in training, but I was also uh, a closeted songwriter. Um, I grew up loving music. I started playing the piano when I was six years old, and uh, I loved doing that. And I used to write songs all the time. I used to to write songs since I was a little girl. Put that in the drawers, you know, did in my my notebooks. And uh, you know, as growing up, my parents wanted me to have a profession that you can make money of and of course being a musician a songwriter was not part of uh, a career choice so um, after going to school graduating uh, being in, in corporate America doing all of that um, I became a mother and um, as a mother for a young child you know you can't put 70 hours a week working and I focused on my little girl and finding myself starting to write children's songs and uh, this love for my child and the love for the songs and the love for the music really inspired me to start ABC Dora Me and um, allow uh, children to have an educational and fun program um, that is designed for uh, for babies and young mother that uh, can go and enjoy that. I love it. Let's look at some of these pictures. It's so cute. It's hard to believe that the mastermind behind this was once a lawyer working 70 hour weeks and, and yep. not, not spending much time with her family. But it must be such a different feeling instead of going to the office with a briefcase and a suit. <laughs> and going to the office and playing with the songs you write yep. from love, from your heart. But when you do what you love, when you do your hobby, can you even call it work even though it's technically your job? Uh, that's a good question. Um, you know, I'm asking myself the same question. Now that I do that for a living and every time that I have a song in my head, is it still a hobby? Um, and I would say yes and no because I do still have those songs that I write for my children that are just for them and I still see that as a hobby. But I do now think about new songs, new ideas that I take them and I, I turn them into more commercial songs. So it's, it's, it's both, I guess. But the bottom line is I love what I do. What's your advice to other individuals who want to follow in your footsteps and get rid of the 9 to 5 or <laughs> 9 to 10 in your case <laughs> oh gosh, and yes. actually pursue their hobbies um, as it's, careers? It's, it's very easy to say. I mean, for me, I followed my heart. Um, I, I felt that there was a market, that there was a need for it, and I just did it, and I never looked back. And if you have passion and you have a hobby or anything that you're passionate about, you should try it. You should take a can try it who knows you know you can you can start your own multi multi-million dollar company who knows